Investing in crypto in Germany just recently became tax-free if you hold your coins, tokens or whatever for at least a year. And its crypto prices also came back quite a bit and some cryptos even a bit much. Some of you guys may be jumping on that opportunity and starting to invest in cryptos now. That's why we were asking the community on Instagram about their biggest crypto investing mistakes. Because if you can learn from other people's investing mistakes, you don't have to repeat them. Most of these crypto mistakes can be really costly. So save yourself a lot of money and a lot of headache by watching the following top 10 crypto investing mistakes. What's up everyone? Welcome to a new investing video from Perfinex, the number one English speaking and independent financial planner in Germany. After asking you for your top ETF investing mistakes a couple of weeks ago, we thought of doing crypto investing mistakes as well, as it seems that some of you feel confident that the downturn is over and the crypto market may be picking up again. We'll see what happens. And as this is supposedly the biggest wealth transfer in the history of humanity, where 20 year olds get crypto billionaires left and right, I highly doubt it, but whatever, who gives a shit about my opinion? Here are the top 10 crypto investing mistakes that will certainly prevent you from becoming a crypto billionaire. Crypto investing mistake number one, not having a goal, plan or strategy. This is the most fundamental mistake when investing, not just in cryptos. Why are you investing in the first place? What are you trying to achieve? Are you an investor that wants to build a long-term crypto portfolio because you believe in the overall crypto market? Then you probably want to invest in the large blue chip cryptos. Or are you an active trader that checks courses all the time, buys altcoins with high potential, uses leverage to maximize gains, stop loss orders? In that case, you make crypto almost your full-time job. And once you have your strategy, stick to it and don't switch from one strategy to the other every other day. By the way, you're luring all your savings into random meme coins, praying that Elon Musk tweets about it and you 100x is not a legitimate strategy. That's what I would consider gambling. My personal strategy, just in case you like to have some inspiration, is that I'm trying to participate in the long-term growth of the crypto asset class in and of itself. And if your strategy is the same, the long-term investment strategy, then you can check out crypto.com and secure a $25 sign-up bonus with the link in the description. Crypto investing mistake number two is what I hear most from the meme coin investors. Over diversification. You never know which coin will go to the moon, right? And diversification is a good idea anyway. That's what I tell you in most of the investing videos. So why not buy 50 different coins in 12 different wallets, right? No, 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 no. How do you want to keep track of all of this? All the news and price swings of all these different coins? Investing in crypto is not collecting Pokemon cards. You shouldn't buy them all. Crypto investing mistake number three is tightly connected to mistake number two. No diversification at all. Carlos Moraes seems to have learned this already. Crypto has huge potential, I get it, and I get that that's what everybody wants. But you kind of have to pay for that upside with a tremendous amount of risk. The crypto market is highly volatile with insane price rings every day. That's why it's probably a good idea to diversify your portfolio away from crypto and towards other exciting investment opportunities. Believe you me, there are at least two other really, really good asset classes out there. Equities, like stocks, ETFs and mutual funds. You can check out our Investing in Germany course or our Community Investing if you're looking for some inspiration there. And real estate, of course. Here are the six steps to buying any property you want. And if all of that is too stressful for you, Here's our newest business, GermanReal.estate, that allows you to invest in rental properties on the blockchain for just one single euro. Everything is linked in the description. A major reason why you wouldn't diversify is crypto investing mistake number four, being greedy like 
Enver Mammut T. My coin will go to the moon. Let's be honest here. Throwing money at a random meme coin, thinking that you can retire tomorrow, is most likely not gonna happen. Wish you the best though. Congrats if you make it. As the crypto market is very young, let's learn from two stock market sayings because the stock market is a lot more mature than the crypto market. First, the fastest way to become broke is trying to become rich quickly. And I know it's easy to get greedy when you hear about the crazy returns people are supposedly making with crypto. We'll talk about false promises and scammers in a moment. And the second stock market saying, nobody ever lost money by taking a profit. If you are really lucky and you get to invest in a pump and dump right before it takes off, be sure to sell once the returns gets out of hand. I know it's hard to press the sell button once greed kicks in, I understand. But if a random meme coin 10x's, 50x's, 100x's in just a couple of days, pull the trigger and lock in your gains. Sell at least half if you really think that your coin will go to the moon. Crypto investing mistake number 5. Investing too much money. More than you can afford to lose, like um, hope you can recover from your loss, financially and mentally. Money is an emotional topic in itself. Trust me when I say this as a financial advisor. Everybody gets emotional over money, even me. So don't feel bad about it. The issue is just that when you invest too much because you're greedy, the last crypto mistake, you will make emotional decisions. That's why people YOLO everything into one coin. FOMO, the fear of missing out, will make you buy out of excitement or sell out of fear. Be aware of that and as soon as emotions take over, take a step back, calm down, relax, refocus and analyze later on once you're cool, calm and collected. To help un... How much percent of your portfolio should you invest in crypto? I'll give you a quick second to think about it. It depends. Exactly, it depends. You have to find a healthy balance between risky investments like cryptos or stocks and conservative investments like real estate or bonds. Whatever fits your risk tolerance works. A 20 year old single with high income and no real commitments can probably take a higher risk than a 50 year old who has four mouths to feed and a mortgage to pay. Generally speaking. Why would anybody invest too much in the first place? Because maybe they believe false promises or scammers. That's crypto investing mistake number six. We just talked about pump and dumps as one of the scams. But there's also Ponzi schemes, fake giveaways where Elon Musk is streaming and giving away one Bitcoin per hour, wrong URLs, spam comments under every of our social media posts or videos, probably under this one too, scammers imitating real people on social media. There's even a Perfinex trade Instagram profile that somebody made trying to imitate us. Or maybe that's my hand on these 500 euro bills and I'm secretly trying to scam you. I didn't know I was married. Honestly though, there's so much scam everywhere on the internet and it makes no sense to fight it. In the beginning we deleted all fishy comments, but they appear faster than you can delete them. When there's the potential to make a lot of money, there will always be people trying to scam you. And as long as the crypto market is not regulated and everybody can create their own coin out of thin air, this is not gonna change. Just remember to do your own research before investing. Crypto investing mistake number seven is what a lot of scammers are trying to make you believe is the key to success start day trading cryptos. There are all these gurus on social media getting rich by day trading cryptos. So if you start as well with the latest coin one of these guys recommended. How hard can it be right? Pretty hard. You would be surprised. Let's be honest that hardly any of these gurus knows anything about day trading and neither do you. You cannot start day trading without any knowledge or experience and expect to be good at it. You need to learn about patterns, risk management, the right type of orders and a lot more to be successful at day trading. If you really want to do it, start with a paper money account first 
before you start risking your hard-earned money. If you day trade, you will also do crypto investing mistake number 8 pay too much taxes. We touch on taxation in many videos as it seems to be an important topic for you guys out there. We also say in many videos that taxes should never be the number one factor before making an investment decision. One factor to consider, but not the most important one. And with cryptos, coins, tokens or our securities from germanreal.estate, it's pretty easy to decrease your tax rate by a lot. Actually to 0%. You just need to hodl your cryptos for one year and you're not gonna pay anything to finance them. Even if you receive passive income from your cryptos. In that case only your passive income is taxed but not the difference between your buying price and selling price if you wait for one full year. That's another argument to rather invest in cryptos than day trade them. You pay less trading commissions and less taxes. Seems like a good deal to me, but you do you. Crypto investing mistake number 9. Thinking that price equals value. Yes, if your 0.0001 cent meme coin gets to 1 euro, you will be the richest person on the entire planet. Look at you, the first crypto gazillionaire. But that's probably not gonna happen. Why not? Because you are not taking market cap and total supply into consideration when trying to determine the value of your coin. Let's make an example and say every coin is a small slice of a pie. Some pies are large, like Bitcoin, that's the largest pie with a market cap of almost 400 billion dollars right now. Other pies are super small, like your <coughs> coin pie. Ew, sounds disgusting actually. I wouldn't eat that one. The size of a single slice, which would be the price, doesn't matter at all actually. Just like with stocks. Let's take your beloved meme stock Tesla as we're talking about meme coins here. Tesla did a 5 to 1 stock split in August 2020. Did the size of the Tesla pie change because of that? Did the value of Tesla change because there are 5 times more stocks now at 20% of the price? No. The total size of the pie matters if you want to know the value. And also the amount of slices matters. That is the total supply. And here it matters extremely if the total supply is fixed like Bitcoin with 21 million or if the total supply is inflationary. Don't get fooled by cheap prices of random coins out there. The price doesn't matter anyway because you can buy fractions. It's not like you have to buy an entire Bitcoin. And lastly, crypto investing mistake number 10. Sending your cryptos to the wrong address. That can happen faster than you might think because crypto wallets have complicated addresses consisting of random letters and numbers. And if just one of that characters is wrong, your entire transfer might be lost forever. They cannot be recovered as there's no customer support for crypto transactions. Hi, this is Axel speaking. I would like to talk to the Bitcoin customer service. I just made a wrong transaction and want you to reverse that. That's not gonna work. It helps to use the QR code instead of typing in your address wallet manually. And to send a small test transaction first to see if your transfer goes through. As soon as you receive your crypto in your target wallet, you know you're good to go. These are our top 10 crypto investing mistakes that we compiled together with you guys from the community. Did we forget anything? Then let us know in the comments. Take care guys and see you next week.